All right, it's the moment you've been waiting for, the one that I've delayed doing for the longest amount of time, and I apologize for that. So this came out, Jurassic World Dominion. I've been waiting for this movie to come out for a while. That's popcorn on my shirt, not dandruff. And basically, what I have to say is, it's better than Fallen Kingdom. And it's pretty much the best thing I can say about it. Let me just kind of fill you in here. I was hoping for a movie that would hopefully bring back the magic that Jurassic World brought. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Jurassic World is truly one of the better Jurassic Park movies. I would honestly, it goes Jurassic Park and then Jurassic World for me. Jurassic World was a beautiful envisioning of Jurassic Park. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom felt like a cheap cash grab and they threw dinosaurs at our face along with a mild plot that no one really cared about. As this one has more dinosaurs and some of your favorite characters from the Jurassic Park franchise. And it ties in Jurassic Park 2 and 3 into this film. And it connects all the films together. But there's way more people than dinosaurs. At no time in this entire movie did I feel like anyone was in true danger for dinosaurs. And that's the big downfall of this film. There's no suspense. There's no, like, horror. In Jurassic World, I didn't feel horror. But I felt suspense at any point that one, someone could die at any point. Throughout this entire film, I did not have that feeling. Granted, is it a good movie? Yes and no. I think there was enough here to hold it together for it to be a good movie, but not a great movie. I plan on doing a video ranking the Jurassic movies, but um, basically let me give you the downfall here. I love all the Jurassic World movies. Granted, some of them are worse than others. But I would rank this in probably the bottom three. And that's hard for me to do because there was so much in this movie I liked. But there's so much that's not well executed. It's kind of like... It's hard to explain. You know when you have a beautiful movie like The Terminator? And you try to make that again and you do it better? And then you try to do it again and you fail? Like Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines? Kind of like this. There was enough good in there for me to squeeze, squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and give this movie a six. And I had to force myself to do it. Granted, it was good. It had good moments. And it was done moderately well. But if I come to Jurassic World, I want to see dinosaurs, not people. But it was good to see Sam Neill again. Hey, welcome back, Alan Grant. Six.